If anyone knows the true meaning of Memorial Day, it is the two veterans you are about to meet. For them, it is Memorial Day every day. That is the mindset behind their mission to raise money for families of the fallen and first responders, which is why this weekend I jumped out of a plane with them. <laughs> Those who don't jump never fly. Well, this is my first time flying, but for these guys, between the two, they've skydived thousands of times. How many jumps have you done? Just a little over 11,000. To understand why I've committed to jumping out of a perfectly good airplane just outside of San Diego, you have to know the story of retired Navy SEALs officer Mike Sorelli. I served uh, 20 years in the military. Started out in the Marines as a recon Marine and a scout sniper. And Sorelli's brother in arms, Nick Cush. Retired Navy EOD, uh, explosive ordnance disposal. I did uh, six tours throughout the 20 years. Their military history combined includes 16 deployments, many to the Middle East, some to the Pacific and South Central America, most in combat. In retirement, they bonded over their shared loss of their fallen. It is a form of post-traumatic stress that is not talked about often is the booms, the bangs, and dealing with the enemy. That's not what uh, bothered me. It's the fact that so many good men have been in That's what inspired them to turn their pain into purpose. And in 2021, Sorelli, Cush, and retired Navy SEAL Andy Stump formed Legacy Expeditions to honor those who gave their lives. Their website filled with young faces that paid the ultimate price. And we're finding this, this sort of electronic footprint that we're leaving behind is then be able to tell the legacy and the stories of fallen and of each other. And so that continues on. The veterans each year tackle what for most would be a mission impossible, like skydiving from the highest points in the Mount Everest region. Jumping across Iceland in 2022. And this year, the group broke world records when they completed seven skydives on seven continents in seven days. The expedition's raising money for Folds of Honor, a nonprofit that provides scholarships to families of America's fallen or disabled military and first responders. To get them the best education po possible so that way they can grow and then become leaders of America tomorrow. Their goal, raise $7 million to fund 1,400 scholarships. So far, they've raised almost half a million. I want to reshape how the public looks at our military. What they don't understand is that the one institution in this land that provides the most scholarships is, a, is an institution called the U.S. Army. <laughs> and that brings us back to my jump at Skydive San Diego. A jump to remember and fundraise for those willing to sacrifice their lives for hours. Any uh, words of advice to me when I go up there since it's my first time? Absolutely smile. Have fun. Take it all in. Just breathe out and, and decompress. I'm signing my life away. After signing on the dotted line and a detailed demo from Kush, who I'll tandem with. Go out. Go out and drive your hips forward. Just like that. Take the it's go time. We board the plane. Head up to 12,500 feet. Am I terrified? Yes. Am I in the best hands? Absolutely. And here goes nothing. The feeling of that free fall, indescribable. The view under the Folds of Honor canopy, awe-inspiring. And the sounds, a piece I've never heard. <laughs> Our landing yeah. speaks for itself. My few minutes in the air worth every second. That was the most terrifying thing <laughs> I've ever done. Nice. But the most exhilarating. Awesome, oh very cool. Gosh. Well, you crushed it up there, oh awesome. It's the least I could do to help these warriors pay tribute to their fallen heroes, especially over Memorial Day weekend. I've got to believe we live in their memory. We realize in retrospect that some of the best things in life are just on the other side of difficult things. Nice, guys.
All right, we are going to have that link so that you can make a donation in a moment. But first, I am honored to be joined by one of the men you just met there, retired Navy SEAL and one of the founders of Legacy Expeditions, Mike Sorelli. Mike, first and foremost, thank you for your service and taking time out of your Memorial Day to be with me tonight. Absolutely. Thanks, Marla. Okay, we want to make it clear that you witnessed the whole thing. You were in that plane. You jumped after me and Nick did. So I want your after action review. How did I do? You're already learning from us. So, you, you know, you were nervous, visibly nervous. You did great. You, you took a leap of faith and uh, you said you've learned from the experience. Uh, Nick said it best, on the other side of difficult mm -hmm. is a whole area uh, of learning and growth for every human being. You just have to do hard things. You two are so inspiring. Uh, I got to ask though, Mike, uh, of, of all things, you, you could organize a 5K to raise money for the fallen. Why do you choose to jump out of airplanes? For exactly the reasons we just discussed. You know, when you put yourself through mental and physical hardship, that's where true learning and growth takes place. Mm -hmm. While 5Ks are great, we're gonna do something that's challenging. We're gonna do something that makes a lot of noise. And it also gives us the, the, the venue to do documentaries on the lives of these men and women who really sacrificed everything for you and I. And so it's just a beautiful combination. It's unique, and uh, we're loving every minute of it. Well, you know, you're still on your quest to raise the $7 million. You just announced your next expedition. This is the first one, though, that does not include skydiving. This is called Drake's Fury. It sounds scary just the name of it uh, what is it when is it explain it so i was approached by a, a fellow seal a friend judd kaufman who wanted to row drake's passage drake's passage is between chile and uh, antarctica and it's the most treacherous stretch of sea so to nick andy and i it was just crazy enough to meet the threshold and we're going to support these six veterans uh, all competing for their slots uh, on their journey and we're going to tell their tale. Again, we're going to be behind the camera. We want to tell the story of these amazing men as well as those that they're rowing in honor of. So uh, it, it also adds to us raising uh, more money for Folds of Honor, and that's what we're going to do. And, and there are so many nonprofits that you could have chosen. I, I loved when you said to me, we want to, we want to in, uh, educate Americans about uh, what the U.S. Army does, and this is why you have cho chosen Folds of Honor. Yeah, 91 cents of every dollar goes to scholarships for spouses and children of either deceased or disabled veterans and now first responders. So they actually put their money towards programs. We were very selective about the organizations we align with. And the greatest gift you can give somebody is an education. And educating the next generation to be better than us, that's the whole point. That's what we believe in. All right, uh, this day can get lost in, hey, I just have a three-day weekend. Uh, I, I get to have a barbecue today. There's so much depth behind Memorial Day. Mike, what does Memorial Day mean for you? You know what? It is a resolution uh, of just confidence and positivity that there will always be good Americans out there that will sacrifice their today for our tomorrow. And that's why it's Happy Memorial Day. Because as long as we have a, a select few of Americans that are willing to do that for the, uh, the masses, then this country is going to be okay. Well, you are one of those Americans. You are an American hero. Um, I know you don't like it when I say that, but you are. Um, so just, you have to deal with it, Mike. Um, yeah. uh, let's get people to uh, give just a few dollars. Listen to this. If, if one million people gave seven dollars, Mike and Legacy Expeditions would hit their goal. So to support Legacy Expeditions, please visit LegacyExpeditions.net. We also have this on our website, FoxLA.com. Retired Navy SEAL Mike Sorelli, thank you so much for all you do for the veteran community.